Hello guys! So I decided to make this video to show you what I really want you to do in the activity that I explained to you today. Okay? I know it's difficult, I mean I know I mentioned several steps, but if you paid attention it's going to be really easy and it's not going to take you a lot, a lot of time, okay? So remember, choose one character, your favorite character of a novel, and compare yourself to this person, okay? Pay attention to that to the things that a writer must have in mind when he creates a character, okay? When he gives life to somebody that didn't exist before, okay? The character that I chose is Gatsby, okay? And I'm going to show you what I did with my little people, okay? The first one that I have is here, Gatsby, remember? In number one, what you have to do is, on one side of this, you have to draw the character. This is how the character looks. He's a fancy man, he's wearing a suit, he's really formal, he has blonde hair, and one of the expressions or something that he always says in the novel is old sport. Hey, how are you doing, old sport? Is everything okay, old sport? Do you like this, old sport? It's a phrase that if you read the book, he learned from somebody that he admired, okay? On the other side, I drew myself, okay? So this is me. This is me, Mr. Louis, okay? Here you can see my jeans, a red t-shirt, okay? And the phrase that I always, or I usually use, especially when I'm in the classroom with you, I say, excellent, right? Oh, excellent. Hey, did you know that blah, blah, blah? Ooh, excellent. Hey, are you ready for this? Excellent, okay? That's my phrase, okay? Of course, I have more like, oh, come on, right? But this one is the one that I chose. For the third point, what I ask you to do is I ask you to tell me to describe this character personality, this character's personality, okay? So in number three, how does he react or how does he act? Well, Mr. Gatsby here, he is a dreamer. He likes to dream in many fantasies, okay? He's a giver. He shares everything that he has, he shares it with other people. He's patient and he's tolerant. He's in love with many ideas, okay? He believes that he can recover the past. But of course, he's only idealistic, okay? He throws a lot of parties. If you read the book, you're going to know why. But he also gets desperate when he realizes that he has a lot of obstacles in his goals. How is this similar to me? Well... The things that I like to do are also many things that involve sharing time with people, okay? So I love juggling, I love juggling, and I love also skating, singing, dancing, which relates to the parties, right? I love parties. So in that way, I'm similar to Gatsby, okay? I also like the circus, and I love circus because when I see people doing amazing things, I know or I imagine that they are superheroes. So in that way, I am also a dreamer like Mr. Gatsby because I like to dream, I like to fantasize, okay? I like to say, yes, this is going to be incredible. This is going to be really amazing, okay? In that way, I am like Gatsby. And I also tend to get desperate, okay, when I see a lot of things that, oh my God, am I going to be able to do this? But I usually don't care about that or don't worry about that because my dreams are bigger than all the obstacles that I have, okay? So I usually, that's why I'm usually so positive, okay? So, next part. In the next part, I ask you to, yes, here, to describe this character, okay? Number four, number four is 
What do other people think about him or her? Well, I wrote, many people in the novel say, yeah, Mr. Gatsby is rich, Mr. Gabby doesn't exist, Mr. Gatsby is an old man, he is the cousin of the Kaiser, he is problematic, he is fake, or he is an assassin, okay? Many people say a lot of things about Gatsby in the movie, and if you haven't seen it, well, don't worry, okay? But these are some of the things that they say about him. Now, if I, if you ask my friends what their opinion is about me, they would usually, or I'm sure they would say something like, yeah, uh, Luis is always happy. He is Luisito. That's the way they call me. Uh, they would say that I am a good friend and that my mom is really cool because she likes to receive them, okay? She's always giving them food, shelter, whatever they need. So they say, oh, your mom is so cool. Some people also would say that I was born in a circus because I really enjoy circus and I know how to do many things like juggling and that stuff that I have shown you before. And that's why maybe also some people would say that I am a little bit crazy, that I am a little bit cuckoo. Because sometimes if you have seen me, uh, especially when I am anxious or something, I tend to say a lot of jokes, I tend to be like, Whoa, I tend to act and I tend to make a lot of funny voices and all that stuff, okay? But that's when I am anxious or nervous, okay? And in the last point, number five, I ask you to tell me about his or her dislikes. Mr. Gatsby, I'm going to tell you first his likes. He obviously likes Daisy, okay, the woman he's in love with. He loves parties, okay, although you, if you read the book, you're going to see why he loves parties. He loves dreams, having dreams. He always dreamt about being rich, about being a powerful man, so he likes that. He likes having goals, okay, so he's really reckless and he wants to do whatever he sets to accomplish, okay? He, and the things that he doesn't like. He doesn't like his past. Gatsby was poor, so he doesn't like his past. He wanted to become a rich man. He doesn't like his enemies, people that don't trust him. He doesn't like the present. He doesn't like his current situation. And because of that, he doesn't like his businesses. You're going to see that Gatsby is rich because of a business that he has, but he doesn't like that business, okay? And for the last one, for me, my likes and dislikes. Well, I like to have fun. I like to feel that I am useful, okay? That I am doing something that is going to be useful for somebody. I like to know many things. I like to know about geography, history, and about the environment, about politics, okay? I like to know many things. I like to obey, you know, to follow the rules, but sometimes I also don't like to follow them, right? Especially when they, I don't know, when they have to do with something that I don't believe in or, but sometimes I don't like to obey, okay? I know, I know, it's bad. I don't like to feel excluded, okay? So if, somebody doesn't invite me to a party or something, I would say, oh, that's sad. Why wasn't I invited? But those are the things that I sometimes don't like, okay? I like to be everywhere, okay? Doing something, learning something, and meeting new people. And also, sometimes I don't like when somebody tells me what I have to do. Like, hey, you have to do this, and you have to clean that, and you have to do this, hey. Why haven't you done this? I told you that. Yeah, okay, I know, I know, I know. Sometimes I am so distracted that I tend to forget things, okay? And when people tell me, hey, why didn't you do that? Oh, okay, I don't like that, but I'm going to do it, okay? So those are the things that I ask you to do it. As you can see, it's not really difficult. You only have to draw yourself and your favorite character in one, and in the other ones, you can fill them with information, okay? So that you remember all this information when you present it, okay? I divided the numbers, I divided the people with numbers 
and in the and on the head of these guys I wrote the famous quote or my favorite saying okay I hope that this helps you to understand it better take your time and enjoy it okay it's a really fun activity see you guys see you next time okay